Hello Kindred Resistors Against the Disgenesis of Modernity, this is Gavin here with GovinKilgore.com. This is the ongoing vlog I'm doing while I'm traveling through Europe. It is a separate trip from the previous one which I never fully wrapped up. Uh, I still have footage from that one which I'm going to combine with some of the footage from this one because it's more topical rather than, you know, a daily vlog that I was doing. Um, just as I went through to the locations I was going to. And on this trip, I happen to be going to a lot of the same places, just in a more condensed time frame. So I'm in Europe again because it was my cousin's wedding. And that is what this video is about, my time in Vienna for the second round. And I go over some stuff that uh, I didn't do last time. So it's still interesting to watch if you're interested in Vienna and you want to know what might be worth seeing if you ever travel there yourself. Um, and I also look at a few places I'd already been, but I go into more depth on those places. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this video, but I also just want to say that uh, there will be more videos about this trip. It's going to be a little delayed because I'm just about to set off on the road again from where I am at the moment recording this intro in the UK. I'm about to go up into Scotland again, and um, actually I didn't even release the footage from my last time in Scotland, but at the end of that period, uh, I actually got sick and so I missed a lot of what I wanted to do and so I returned and I'm actually going to be camping this time uh, so you're going to see some great footage of me roughing it hopefully it goes well I leave tomorrow on the train for a big trek up there but before you're going to see that footage I'm going to be releasing the footage from my time in Prague in the Czech Republic as well as Germany a lot of really cool locations there and I'll probably mix in some of the previous footage with um, a bit of the footage on this trip before I really get into the depths of this particular last leg of this European trip. So I'm back home uh, in Canada uh, on September 21st of 2016. But yeah, my time on the continent of Europe was amazing and uh, I hope you enjoy this first part. Europe, round two. Just sitting on the tarmac in Toronto, Pearson International Airport. Headed to Gatwick and then on to Vienna again. Austria. Same trip as before, a little more condensed. And then I'll tell you more about what I'm doing once I'm there as well. Hello and welcome on board Air Canada Route. As you settle in, get comfortable, please place your first line of steel overhead vent or under the seat in front of you. Bonsoir, et bienvenue à bord d'Air Canada Route. Alors, vous installez confortablement. Here we are in Gatwick Airport. Start to go to Castle Control, collect our baggage, then on to Vienna. Here in Vienna. It's a great trip. I didn't film right when I got off the plane last night because I was so exhausted and then we had to stay up another half day basically to try and get on track with the hours of being in a, like eight time zones over or seven whatever it is. But I think I'm kind of on track already and uh, we're here at the Belvedere again. You probably if you followed the, these vlogs you would have seen me here in the winter and it looks much uh, 
better, I guess, during the summer here. To kind of see, we'll get close-ups of all this stuff. But there's actual greenery this time compared to uh, previously. It was all brown. The fountains weren't working. And yeah, it's uh, stunning here. Amazing weather, 35-ish degrees Celsius. Don't need a shirt really, but it's not very humid, so it's really pleasant to be in. How would you like that job of mowing the grass on this property? It says don't walk on the grass? Oh wow. Somehow I knew that would be the case. We're here at my cousin's wedding and uh, at the Schloss Herzog. Jonathan, what's the name of the this the place again? Uh, Schloss Hetzendorf. Hetzendorf. Schloss Hetzendorf. And it's a uh, an old sort of baroque style building. An amazing venue that can be rented for events. And 
smallish wedding, or large, it depends on what your reference point is, 120 people. My cousin's friends from his old school, obviously family from both sides of the, uh, the bride and groom, and uh, obviously friends of the bride as well. There's a lot of people here whom I met in the winter when I was over here. And I have to say Vienna and Austria are very nice in the summer. I recommend it over the winter, although the winter is quite nice too, uh, with uh, all the markets and things that are out with the mulled wine. Everyone's hiding in the shade, naturally. When do we stay in the village? No. No. To, to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Martin. Get in, get in the photo. Go, 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 go. Now run past. Yeah. There we go. Lovely. The video. <laughs> It's a still picture. Okay, one, two, one. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. We are in the Volks Garden, People's Park, or Garden. Yeah, it's very nice, lots of flowers, lots of paths, walk on. And it's right by the Hofburg Palace, so we're headed over there. Of course, there's the Hofburg Palace. You probably remember that in a previous vlog from this winter. Okay, so there actually is that that one that I looked at last time is still free to see. I'm not sure whether you can see it on video as well, but the whole front face of this is curved, which I think is pretty neat. So some famous people have given speeches from that balcony there. Choose your class. Scholar, Paladin, Warrior, Mage, Thief, <laughs> and it goes on and on. And by the way, there's not much in there if you were ever to come here. It's like a library, which could be interesting to see if you're into it sort of rare libraries, but um, 
the cool thing is actually in through here. I'm not going to go to it this time because I've already done the whole exhibit. There's a place called the Schatzkammer, which is the treasury house. And it uh, has all the old imperial jewels and crowns and scepters and jeweled swords and um, some holy relics. So that's what's checking out for sure. I think that's one of the best places in Vienna, even though it sounds really like stuffy and academic. It's actually quite neat to see. You know, there's probably millions, if not, uh, maybe, I don't know if it'd be over a billion. I guess it's priceless with stuff in there, but it's just kind of neat to see that sort of thing and get an idea for what, uh, I guess, the royalty of times in the past had at their disposal. I think this might be Hercules. Could be wrong. There's a specific statue of him I know is definitely him. He's fighting Cerberus, but that's neither of these two. But I know there's a couple of them. There's two more over there I'll go check out. But I've been in a square before, I just didn't come down this end. Hercules with all kinds of games. I believe that's Hercules as well. Being a much smaller man.
I walked all the way down to uh, what I think is the university here. Anyways, I was looking for something called the Praletor. And, you know, it's a pretty big complex, like it's this whole block of buildings. And I'm looking for a plaque. It's like a commemoration of um, Richard Kudnoff Kalerji. I kind of just wanted to like spit on it or something. I didn't bring any hydrochloric acid or uh, spray paint, so I couldn't really deface it. But I thought maybe just seeing it and maybe giving it the finger and cursing his name would give me some self-satisfaction. But uh, it's a pretty nice looking building. It's a shame it's probably a haven for socialist shitheads. Cultural Marxists. Uh, this part is a museum. I know that's not what I'm looking for, but it is attached to this building. Because the location, when you search it on a map, it gives you the building, but it's technically the entire place, and I don't know which one of the buildings is the predator, and I don't actually have time to ask around and find someone who speaks English. I have to go meet family on the other side of the downtown core. This kind of today, I was like part of that in Vienna. So I got about a 40 minute walk to get to dinner. But it's uh, a pretty good day, kind of more subdued because I was slightly hungover at the wedding. Maybe a kilometer out from the core with all the imperial buildings. The graffiti out here is pretty interesting. I'm gonna zoom in on some of it just so you see. How's that working out for you, Vienna? I don't know what all this is, but uh, yeah, it's a little. Very quickly out of the core of Vienna, it gets a little sketch looking, which is sad because it's still like amazing architecture and all the buildings. It's just defaced in quite a few places from what I've experienced. So thanks for watching that video of my time round two in Vienna. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, favor, and share the video if you feel so inclined. And with that, I'll talk to you again soon. Take care and may you spread logic and ultra-right virtues among the dildotariat.